so good evening everyone so today we'll be starting uh, with this uh, session of lighting so what are what is lighting uh, what are the different types of lights are there inside the scene uh, so we'll be uh, working on that okay so if i just show you this one okay so today's session will be on uh, this lights so we'll learn what are what are the different types of lights which are available over here what are the different properties of the light uh, we'll try to light a basic uh, interior room we'll see about is uh, light profiles and we'll see of how we can just work on the exterior light and directional light using the directional light over here okay so this will be the today's topic and uh, there is some kind of resource also which i'll just sharing with you so you can just go more in detail about the lighting uh, so we'll start with our uh, this is the basic scene and uh, when you start with this basic scene it is already built with some kind of lights are there uh, so these are the default light source we can just see that this is the light source which we have it so we just start selecting and deleting that now there is no light source uh, so if i just select this one again this is another uh, reflection sphere so if you switch off okay and uh, this is again uh, another skylight so you can just delete that now there is no light inside the scene again this is what one more thing which is uh, for reflection now to create any of the light inside this uh, unreal right so here you have this lighting option so click on this lights and here we can find there are different types of light so you can use point light uh, you can use spotlight you can use the directional light so if i'm just using this point light right now so click on this point light and drag and drop okay so this is one light source which we have it and uh, and this point light will uh, uh, affect like a uh, our normal light source okay so artificial light source which we have so if you want to create some kind of candle light or you want to create some kind of uh, a bulb light over here uh, we can make the use of this uh, light source over here okay so before doing that let's create some kind of uh, surrounding over here so let's add this light first i just want to build something uh, next to it so it looks like some kind of room over here so go to the starter contents architectural and we have some of this things which you can make it okay and we have some of this wall as well So I'll be just uh, making this uh, just close a uh, kind of room over here. So let's take this. Uh, press R to scale it. So let's scale this to the proper uh, point again. Uh, you need to start adding that more of this wall. So let's drag and drop this. Press E to rotate. Just quickly, I'll just build some uh, room kind of thing. So we can see lighting more properly over here. Again, drag and drop this wall. So I am able to see the shadow also now uh, from that light, and let's try to fix it over here. Let's fix this place. Let's drag and drop again over here. So I can scale this scene. So press R if you want to scale it down a little bit. Or let's duplicate the same uh, wall over here. So let's press W, Alt and drag it. So I have the uh, same wall. Select this wall again. Hold Alt and drag this side as well. it is much easy and we'll be closing that uh, wall on the top so let's fix this wall much closer press r let's make it little bigger This is the same thing which is over here. If I can just duplicate on the top, now uh, let's use this wall. Now let's close this. So 
Okay, so now we have this uh, uh, nice scene. Now we'll be able to see the light more properly over here. Uh, so we have this one light source inside this room. Okay, so there are different properties of this light. So uh, this is the one light if you just want to place it on this side or I'll just fix it my camera over here. So I can see the other uh, scene also over here. Okay, so what all the properties of this lights are there? Uh, so we'll just see what all the different properties of this lights are there. So first uh, uh, thing on the right side, you can just see that uh, these are the transformation properties of that light. So I can change the position of the light wherever I want. Suppose I want on this wall. Uh, this is Y axis and this is Z axis. So Z is up over here. So I can just see uh, and any of this you don't want to see in the scene. I can just hide this which is already there so I just want to see this lights and this is the player start I don't want to see I just want to see only the light and here we have the radius of the light so how much uh, it, sh it should emit the light now if I'm just increasing the light and you can just see that uh, how much it is spreading over here and here we have the soft radius that also we can adjust it over here and we also have this temperature so if you feel that you want to change uh, the light uh, through the temperature value of the light here we have the color temperature so if uh, by default it is like 6500 so if you want like candle uh, kind of lights over here uh, so you can reduce this now you can just see that we start seeing this little bit of warm light over here if it is totally towards left so if i just type it thousand or so uh, it gives me like more uh, red kind of light over here so uh, the thousand value will give me more red uh, warm light over here so if I'm just making around 3000 so I'll get this like a, a room uh, light over here so that is what it will do if I make it around uh, 12,000 now okay so it will give me more like blue uh, light source so if I just try adjusting that over here so this will depend on the temperature of that light and we can control it so what what you want you want a warm color light or you want a soft uh, light over here so that can be controlled using this uh, color temperature over here and we also have the shadows so if you switch off that uh, so it will not emit any kind of shadows over here now we can just see that uh, the shadows are not emitting so if i just switch off the shadows there is no shadow for this light and down uh, we have more properties of the light so indirect illumination that is the bounce light which will affect over here and this is the intensity of the light so how bright that light should be so if you want very light so that if it is zero uh, there is no light inside the scene that is the intensity or the power of the light so if you increase this little bit suppose if you want very less light like this uh, let's give around one so I have very less light into the scene uh, now I can just see it over here so if I just make it around 0.5 less light 0.1 more less 0 0.05 more 0.02 yeah suppose this light is emitting only this uh, much amount of light uh, and you want to add more light into the scene uh, you can also adjust the intensity of the light over here so how much intensity you want to uh, emit from that light so whether this light will uh, emit the whole scene or it will affect only uh, this part of the uh, light over here so that can be adjusted using this uh, intensity of the light so so if you just want to make it like 0 0.1 let's make it around 0 0.1 and this is giving uh, enough light for me uh, if you don't want to adjust this color temperature if you want to manually uh, change the light color so here we have this light color so that I can adjust it over here so if I just click on this light so and you can choose whichever the light color you want suppose if you want uh, the light to be in this particular color so I can keep changing the light color using this I can just see this is the light which we have and it is giving this light suppose if you want like this okay so here we can change the light color uh, over here so that is one more property of the light which you can adjust it uh, using that over here so these are the different properties of the light 
and here we have one more uh, thing over here is which you can uh, change any kind of map uh, we can apply for the light uh, so if you want uh, you can uh, load that light uh, over here so if I just click on this browser content so here if you want to import any of the light uh, attributes so we can also create certain folder over here for the IES lights uh, at present I don't have any of this IES lights so if you want any kind of IES lights I can just uh, create a certain folder for that so I'll just create some name it as IES okay so uh, these are like more uh, physical based uh, render lights so I have this some of the lights which I have got so I'll just extract that light over here and uh, we can just see that we get this kind of different uh, light profiles uh, suppose if I just show you this image right now so let's open this uh, one particular image and we'll just see that what is this uh, different light sources uh, which you can get through it uh, so these are the different so, so when you are doing any kind of interior uh, or lighting for that you might see this kind of lighting uh, which happens uh, wherever there is uh, some kind of spotlights are there uh, or some kind of lamps are there you will see this kind of light uh, profiles uh, so we get certain maps uh, from the IES lights and these are the certain maps which I want to load it I can load inside this so suppose if I just select all of this uh, thing and if you just want to drag and drop it over here let's drag and drop this IES lights into the scene over here so we can load that IES textures uh, uh, over here so let me load it so we have this nice lights so if you can just want to load it over here I can just load that light okay so as soon as I load that light you are not seeing anything so click on this intensity and now I can scale it so uh, you can see this is the light which is uh, having that so if you want to rotate or want to try that uh, placing the light over here now I can see that I can place the light near the wall let's place this light over here and over here okay so this light uh, will give that kind of profile so if I reduce this intensity now suppose I just reduce it like this Uh, so if you want some kind of lighting to be uh, for the scene like this uh, you can keep it but it will uh, affect only when the light is much closer to the wall uh, so if the light is far from the wall it doesn't affect because uh, this works only on this so if it is light is much closer to the wall now I'm keeping the light much closer to the wall you can just see that it shows the map over here uh, so this is the intensity of the light you can still reduce if you want to reduce that intensity and what kind of light you want so I, I, I just need to drag and drop this over here now see this this is having too much uh, intensity for this light uh, give some value 0 0.02 now I get this nice uh, lighting for the interior more or less 0 0.005 now we have this so we can just see that so if you just want to reduce it like 0.01 and I have this nice lighting uh, so I can make the use of this lights uh, inside the scene over here okay so if you just still want more of the lights I can just go to the four views see uh, from this top view so this is the top view of the light and you want to duplicate this light I can just duplicate from here alt and left click and drag it and you just want to place it on this side of the wall we have this alt and drag on this side of the wall so top view will be much easy to set up or fix the light uh, wherever you require this kind of light so I want very soft light again drag and drop and I have this light over here okay uh, so we can play around with different lights and again uh, so if you want to adjust the properties of this particular light I can see at present this is the color if you want to play around with the temperature of the light so if you want a little bit of more warm light over here so I can just see that I can make this light more warm uh, in this particular place 
Uh, so when you are adjusting that as an IS light, I don't uh, have uh, much control about this intensity over here. Uh, so we can just see that that intensity thing is gone. Uh, so whatever the control I want to do is uh, using this intensity scale for that light. So 0 0.001, see this, 0 0.0001. Now this looks fine over here. So if I just click it on that surface, now we can just see. So these are the different light sources which we have and uh, you can give certain values for this. So these are the IES lights and these are like some kind of maps. So it will be very helpful uh, when you are doing some kind of architectural uh, rendering or lighting for the scene. Uh, these lights are, this light will help you to do that nice uh, lighting in the scene. So it depends on the light source uh, also. So what all the different light source we have inside this particular room. Uh, depending on that we will be doing the lighting. So we can use this point light. So again drag and drop and this is the default point light which is over here so I want to keep on this top uh, there is no light source though but I am just keeping that light over here and we can just see this uh, different properties again for this so I want this temperature of this to be a little warm okay so this light affects in that uh, emits in all the direction right now okay so this is one light source so if you are just using another light source called directional light. So if I just bring this directional light into the room over here. So uh, it depends on the direction of the light. So uh, if you want some kind of sunlight which is coming from outside the room and you want the light to be a room to be lit by that, you can use this directional light. And whichever the direction of this light is, if I rotate the light in this direction, this direction so mostly we use this kind of light to create some kind of sunlight uh, which is coming from outside so if I just select this lights and if I just switch it off over here so I don't want this light to be seen when I am just adjusting that one light source so now we can just see that we we are getting one light uh, source like a sunlight which is coming from outside and uh, it is uh, making this uh, room lit over here so if I just make it down so if I just zoom out I can just see this okay so that is the light which is uh, affecting inside this room so if I just come back to this room now if I just want to see that light how it behaves okay so if I just click on this play uh, over here let's see this Let's see that uh, room is lit and we also have one more light which is uh, there and so escape to come out of that and we have this nice uh, light setup now. So like this uh, uh, we have this directional light we have seen, we have seen some kind of point light and directional light will have certain properties over here. Uh, so the same kind of properties what we see for the point light even the directional light will also have the same properties uh, we can just see this is the angle of the light uh, which will make this light softer uh, so if uh, the angle is zero uh, you can see this light is little bit of sharper over here if I increase this angle more and this is the soft angle so we can just see that the light becomes much softer over here uh, so we can make the use of this uh, light, directional light, if you want to make it soft. This is the uh, property, source angle. You can just see that. So only on the corner, you can just see that how it smooths that out. If it is totally zero, it is too sharp. So if I increase this angle, you can make that uh, it becomes blur. All this corner, uh, it just become blur over here. So that is one uh, properties of the lights which you can use it uh, over here. So if you want to play with the light color now, or you see the temperature of that light so if it is a like some kind of evening kind of scene okay so if i increase this more light it gives me this cool cool temperature over here so so by default uh, 6500 will be the default value for the thing but if it is a sunlight uh, you can still reduce little bit so little bit of pale yellow color for that light uh, you can give it now 
so we have added this kind of light over here so suppose if it is uh, like you want to make it little bit of less intensity light over here uh, so i can add this a uh, color also over here so instead of this temperature i'll just make this temperature down and uh, i can just see this this is the intensity of this light so make it one i just want very less light which is coming into the room uh, so using this intensity and this is the color so if i just want to make it like more blue kind of scene uh, press okay and uh, i just want to uh, adjust this little bit of intensity for this so more blue okay so that we can add it and i think we also have uh, something over here some uh, sphere reflection which is over here so if i just delete that we also have this is the directional light so what on the other things are they already deleted from the scene and we have only this uh, source of light so if i just zoom out sorry so if i just select this one so we have this sky also so if you want to change the sky color now uh, we can always change this uh, sky color over here uh, so sun height where you want to adjust this sun height okay so that we will see uh, by using this i don't want any kind of atmosphere also i don't want this sky also so now we see that nothing is there everything is dark so if i just come out of this this whole scene is totally dark now because there is nothing uh, no atmosphere over here and uh, uh, there is nothing no sky also inside the scene so i just deleted everything and we just have only one light source which is like totally dark if i want to create that or okay so this is one light source which i added now so uh, we can just go to again uh, whatever the lights we have over here okay i don't want this uh, you want to switch on this point light sorry okay so we have one uh, skylight which is coming from this so if you want to just rotate you want to rotate the light Uh, if you want to rotate in this direction press e and i can also rotate over here just bring it down little bit so half i want to bring it over here and just want to make it the light coming from that side okay uh, any other light source you want to add it uh, we also have one more light source called spotlight uh so using this uh, we get more control for the lighting so if i just use this spotlight into the scene and we can just see this light how how does it behave now so press w pull this up and we get some kind of cone angle over here so if i am just seeing this uh, spotlight how how does it behave so let's rotate this light and uh, let's fix it over here i just want to push it much closer so you can see this how uh, this light is actually acting over here so depending on this cone angle uh, this act will behave now so if i just pull it back it uh, since the cone angle is much more wide uh, i it will fill the whole uh, light over here so if i reduce this cone angle now so this is what we get see this Okay, so if I am moving much closer, it gives more intensity. If I am moving far, uh, you can just see how how does this behave. So if you want to adjust the intensity again over here, we have this intensity. So I can increase the intensity of this light, and this is what it is doing. So it is projecting this light over here, and we can just see how uh, it depends on this cone. And we can always adjust and control this light uh, over here. So if I just come down, and if you just want to see uh, like. Uh, cone radius we have this cone angle and we have this sorry so if you want to make the uh, softer light you can also adjust this we also have this inner cone and outer cone you can just see this now so there are two cones over here so if i increase this if you want very sharp uh, both the values you keep it at the same so if you want this corner to be sharp uh, softer uh, you can also adjust this cone so you are getting little bit of softer uh, the corner edges now 
so depending on this if it is too small so it will become soft from the center of this and we have so radius of this also we can adjust uh, but this is better when you adjust for this certain kind of uh, point light not for this cone light okay so these are the different properties of the cone light you can just see that cone you have inner cone you have outer cone for this uh, and other properties will remain the same you can cast the shadow so if you want the shadow to be cast from this particular light you can enable this cast shadows and we also have this uh, light color so if you want to change the light color to some other color or here like this okay so uh, we can add that kind of uh, color for this so either you play around with this light color or you can also click on this color temperature and then you can just start adjusting that temperature okay so you can do the whole lighting with the help of this uh, spotlight also so you can uh, fix multiple spotlight to uh, do the lighting inside the scene so you can just see this is what we have this light so if i rotate okay or sometimes you will have some of the lights which will be from the top uh, like this and press w move this up so if you have some kind of street light and uh, you want uh, which is like having some kind of spot over there you want to add that kind of lighting uh, to the scene uh, we can make the use of this light sorry spotlight so spotlight is one more light and we also have this rectangle light so uh, if i just use this rectangle light into the scene uh, so this light uh, actually acts uh, if there is some kind of window and you want uh, the light to come through the window uh, we can make the use of this uh, light area light so most of the most of the time we'll just use this kind of light for uh, product lighting so any product you have and you want to do the lighting for that you can just use this kind of light or you want to create uh, the light which is coming through some kind of window or door so i can just use this light as well so you can just see i can scale it press r and scale the whole light over here okay so this is one light which you can use it and for this there is certain uh, uh, properties for this light it is like particularly square kind of light and if i just bring this down and we can change the uh, light properties over here we have source width we can just see that we have source width and source height so if you want the light to come through that door or window so i can just bring that over here by adjusting this source uh, width and height so place the light in this particular place where you want this light to come and uh, we also have this barn doors so if you want to cut off the light uh, you can just use this uh, barn door so this so if you want to spread the light you can open this door or if you want the uh, light to cut it off so we have something called barn door uh, over here so we can just see this now see uh, what uh, what this is going to do uh, i can just show using this angle of this so if you want to cut off the light only till this part you can adjust this barn door angle so if you want the light to spread fully so we can control uh, this light using this barn door angles so you can just see this how it controls and this is the length of that door so how uh, sharp you want the light so if it is much closer to the wall it becomes sharp if it is far it becomes softer light okay so inside the uh, photography studios you would have seen uh, uh, there will be some kind of soft light a uh, big light over there uh, which will make the light much softer so whenever you want the light to be softer you can adjust this length so if the length is more you can see the light becomes more sharp uh, if this barn door length is far uh, you can see that light become more softer over here okay uh, so we can also add some kind of texture uh, for this light as well so if you have some kind of map of uh, alpha map like black and white map of the trees and you want to make the uh, shadow fall on the top of this so we can also use this some kind of map for that 
uh, if you want to use over here as a texture so that will act like a, some kind of projection and we are faking it out some kind of shadows from outside uh, like if there is no trees and you still want to uh, fake it out like there is some kind of sh uh, trees outside and that uh, shadow of that trees is coming over here so we can put some kind of map also uh, in this particular place so this is used for that okay so now to see the lighting uh, here there are different uh, types of uh, thing over here so when you are working over here so if i want to make it as a lumen scene okay uh, so you can quickly preview that inside this uh, lumen scene so it will not be that much heavy uh, when you are previewing over there using this uh, option over here so if i just go for this lit option you can just see that so there are different options uh, uh, which you can use it over here so uh, if i just click on this light map complexity over here so we can just see uh, how uh, this works over here okay so just to view the light if you want to see only the lighting inside the scene uh, this is what i am just seeing only the lighting there is no texture uh, no color uh, inside the scene uh, this will be good when you are doing the lighting because uh, when you have the materials so you will not understand how the light is behaving over here so when you are doing the lighting you can just go for this lighting mode and you can just try checking that and uh, don't switch off only the reflection if you want to see you can just switch on only the reflection uh, lit option so it will show with the texture as well as this lighting so sometimes it might slow down uh, your system uh, so it's better you can just go with this light and you just want to see only the lighting inside the scene you can also see only the light so this is a better way of uh, checking the light because we can see the color of the light more properly so if i just select this light now and if i'm just changing the light color So we can see it more clearly uh, what is this light uh, color over here. So with that we will not be able to check that. I will just delete this and we can just see that. So this is, this, this is giving me nice uh, light over here. So if I just choose this point light and if I just change the uh, temperature. Now use the temperature and I want to make it little bit of warm tone. So when you are inside this let us give it 3000. select this point light for this also uh, you want to choose the color temperature over here for this also make it 3000 now I can just see that so how uh, this scene is going to uh, look now okay so to reduce the intensity of this light again we can just come down to the light intensity over here and uh, we can reduce that intensity and here we have the saturation light mass saturation so that also we can uh, adjust it so let's go for this uh, light uh, properties and let's reduce this little bit of intensity of this particular light over here so uh, since this is an is light i have to go to this is option and i have to reduce it in this place so 0 0.001 very less yeah so that looks fine so 0 0.001 so this gives nice uh, feel for the lighting and even for this last light this also I just want to see it is already 0.001 it is already less and this sunlight also so this is looking like sunlight so I need to reduce the intensity of this light as well uh, it is too high uh, at present so we can just reduce that light intensity also uh, we can play around with this light intensity so make it around 2 or 1 0.5 just I want it very less uh, light over here okay so I added some of the uh, lights uh, over here so I just want one more light just to fill the scene so let's add this one more uh, point light press W Uh, so this here also I feel that the intensity is too much for this particular light so I can just come down to this uh, light intensity for that over here so once you drag and drop you can just see this is the light intensity make it 1.5 yeah. so this 
just to fill the whole scene it was too dark so i just want to fill the whole scene so i just added this light over here okay so if the light is going uh, inside that you can just pull it little bit outside and we can just see how much you want this light to be okay so you can just see that how uh, we can control this lights over here uh, uh, depending on the maps uh, so if i just press r and uh, you can just see this so i will not be able to adjust this because of this uh, this takes according to the map over here so if i just go to this is lights it takes according to that map and here we can just see that there are different uh, textures which is already loaded uh, so once i load any of this is lights so it is already loaded with different types if i click on this it will change so this is the light if i just change it over here to uh, this is too much intensity let's reduce the intensity of that so 0 0.01 and we have this is another light source which we have press w so it is having this more uh, light intensity over here so that can be controlled inside this uh, ies lights option so 0 0.001 so this looks fine or you want to make it 0 0.0001 now this is fine if i just keep it much closer to the wall you will be able to see that Okay, so uh, here you can select it what all uh, different uh, light source you want to use it and uh, we can adjust all the settings for the light over here. Inside this. Okay, so this is for this uh, any kind of uh, interior scene you want to use it. So you will be using this IS lights, you will be using uh, this kind of directional light. If there is some kind of windows over there, you will be using the windows also. So there is one more light over here called skylight so if i just drag and drop this so this likes like a actual uh, sunlight over here uh, inside the scene so if i just select this light uh, so for this also there is different uh, properties so if you want little bit of uh, soft shadows from the sky and all you have this something called ambient occlusion so that can be used over here so you can increase this uh, occlusion value over here so when I go to the general settings, you can see uh, here we have source type. So what kind of uh, scene you want it over here. So you can change the properties. And here we can load different maps uh, for this. Suppose you have this HDRI map. So click on this and we will be able to uh, see that over here. Okay. So it to make sure that it is available, we need to require to add something over here called uh, sky atmosphere. Otherwise, you will not be able to see uh, this light over here inside the scene. Okay. So, we will need to add some kind of sky atmosphere. So, if I just go to the create, uh, here also you can just see that. So, these are uh, some of the lights. Either I can create from here or here also depending on this what you want to create. And if you want to create some kind of sky atmosphere. So in this visual effects, we have something called sky atmosphere that I can just click uh, and drag and drop it uh, to the scene. So if I just click on this uh, uh, visual effects, click on the sky atmosphere, which is already added now. Okay, uh, so it is added two times, so you can just see this. Okay, so to make the skylight work, uh, you need to make sure that you uh, this atmosphere also you add it into the scene. Otherwise, you will not be able to see that. Now, if I just go and this is what we have this map, uh, which is applied for that. Okay, so these are the different uh, scenes over here. So these are the different types of lights, and different properties of the lights will be uh, color temperature. You have the intensity. Uh, you also have the shadow you can uh, manually also adjust this light color over here so these are the different properties of the light over here so inside this uh, so if i'm just going to this rendering option you will see all this uh, properties of the lights uh, where we can just see uh, everything over here uh, distance from the light is textures lights and all this thing. okay uh, so yeah guys so any doubts in this uh, anyone Yes, sir. 
any anyone any doubts in this so if you have any kind of doubt doubts or something sir yeah uh like uh, we are using the uh, lights there right hmm. uh when we go to the play mode uh like do we see a you know like a light model or uh, is it will be just for just a point yeah so you don't see that uh, light model you will be seeing hmm. so this is the play mode now i'm just playing it over here i can see hmm. So if you want to see the light, uh, you need to model that light, and uh, you okay. need to place over here. So if you want some kind of light sources, no. So you need to model okay. that and place it. Okay. So now Clear. Inside this play mode, and now I can see that light is there, and I can play and check it. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So, others any doubt? If you have. uh so i mean uh, like in uh, some other one of the tutorial i was going through and there was one more concept of lighting i mean like if you go to the windows and for the for the map there was one kind of lighting which was used okay so not much clear regarding that i mean like is there anything much to i mean uh, go deeper into that or is it just like uh, uh, if you go to the windows i mean like there is one option uh we'll be going through that uh, uh in detail so there is something called lumen lighting is also there uh, so we, we can see the light rays coming and all uh, okay. through the windows okay uh, so uh, this is this will be going in detail so this is oh. like just uh, uh, wanted to show about the properties of the light next mm -hmm. class will be showing about the lumen uh, thing or lumen light mass and all this okay fine okay so yeah uh guys any other doubts you have any uh, so you try this uh, lighting and uh, let me know so any kind of simple scene you can uh, take it uh, so if you want to take through any kind of quicksell also or uh, if you want to download anything from this uh, marketplace also you'll get some kind of scenes so if you want to try on that actual scenes also you can take from here uh, so go for this content uh, browser or market and you might get some kind of architectural scenes Uh, so if you want to just do only the lighting and check it to that scenes you can just download that model check it over here okay yes sir yeah okay so try on that if you have already done some models uh, and you want to check this lighting how it looks inside that model try that yes okay uh, yeah. so we'll see more in detail about the lighting uh, in tomorrow's class also so uh, we will see about lighting and rendering part of it uh how we can do the render uh, inside this okay 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 guys so see you tomorrow yeah thank you sir yeah, yeah. thank you sir sure. thank you sir